Welcome to the University of Wales Newport and our Kyalian campus. This short DVD is introducing our learning and teaching strategy. At Newport, nearly two thirds of our students study part time. We have a large number of students who are over the age of 30 and we have a growing number of international students. These students have a wide range of learning needs and our strategy is being put in place to support them. Learning doesn't just take place in purposely designed buildings such as our city campus. With the growth in part-time numbers, work-based learning and the University of Heads of the Valley Institute, more and more students will be learning in the community. This means that our learning environment needs to be capable of being adapted by students to meet their own particular needs. We will do this by working with students as partners, also using digital technologies that support and enhance learning. We will also ensure that students are able to play their full role in the economy, have an international perspective and can learn through the medium of Welsh. We are committed to providing an excellent student experience and excelling in learning and teaching. This is our city campus which opened in January 2011. Below me is a learning centre where students can study and learn in different contexts, whether it's social learning over a cup of coffee, individualised learning, but above all, students can adapt the environment to match their own particular needs. The student experience is a very individual thing. Um, there's people from all walks of life coming in and they all have different needs and they all want something different from their education. Um, as a mentor, I'm actu actually actively encouraged to go out and seek information from students so we can actually work with them in partnership to improve their courses, their experience. Um, what we do is we look for narrative data rather than asking them to scale things from 1 to 10. We say, what do you want? An open question so they can feed back to us what they want, what issues they're having and then we can take those back to uh, forums like the Students as Partners monthly forum and we can look at that data and see where we're going wrong, where we're going right, what we can do to address issues and uh, what actions need taking. In my role as course rep, because I'm actually involved with the course that I am representing, I do try and be the voice between the students that are my peers and the um, academic board so that we can get input from the students to validate their courses and maybe improve on their learning experience. What we're trying to achieve uh, with the kind of um, digital technology section of our learning and teaching strategy is, is two main things. The idea is we, we want to avoid uh, this, this thing called technocentricity uh, where kind of staff just do use technology because they think they should um, and rather they say right at this particular juncture I'm going to use this particular tool because it's pedagogically sound or it's appropriate to do so but next week I might not use technology because there's a more appropriate method uh, of getting that learning uh, experience across the students. For the students what we want to achieve is we want to give them the confidence and competence to use these tools not only to succeed in academia but also um, once they graduate uh, so they can go to job interviews and they can say yes I can use these tools for uh, collaboration, I can use voice over IP, I can communicate with people all over the world um, in, a, in a relaxed way and again choose which tool is best for the job. Um, I mean, the main thing is that um, we're going to try and integrate the technology into the curriculum so it's seamless. So uh, they see it as just another aspect of their education rather than it being something that's bolt on. So they, uh, we don't want them to perceive it as I'm here to do my main course of study and there's a little bit of tech on the side. It's, it's integrated and as commonplace as an interactive whiteboard or a smart board or a blackboard or a book or whatever you want to name. Graduate recruiters have been telling us for a number of years now that they want the graduates to hit the ground running when they enter the workplace. They talk a lot about the fact that an academic qualification isn't all that they're looking for, but they actually want to see the graduates evidence and demonstrate a range of employability skills um, that allow them to navigate the workplace quite successfully when they join. These kinds of skills may include problem solving, teamwork and communication, and one or two others that they've identified at all levels from the large recruiters right down to the small and medium-sized enterprises. Here at the University of Wales in Newport, we pride ourselves in enhancing the learning of our students to prepare them for the world of work. We do this in two ways, by developing their employability and also by enhancing their entrepreneurial way of thinking. We encourage them to take part in formal learning activities which take place within their learning curriculum and also by encouraging them to seek informal activities 
which will enhance their skills and prepare them for the world of work. One of the strands of the institutional mission is to provide a bridge to the world for our students. Uh, this element through internationalisation is central to the learning and teaching strategy at the institution and our objective is to provide an international experience, an international learning experience for students, for staff also here. Um, we aim for our graduates to be global citizens when they graduate from us and that should really enhance their employability opportunities. In terms of learning and teaching, we integrate an intercultural dimension and also throughout our support services we try to support international students and international experience. The broad aims um, of the internationalisation strand are diversity, mobility, curriculum development and scholarly partnerships. And the institution has an internationalisation group bringing together academic colleagues from each school in order to provide a forum to share best practice regarding internationalisation. And there is some fantastic work going on. We're also developing and expanding our exchange opportunities um, through the Erasmus and Study Abroad programme, but also through short-term mobility opportunities for some students that may not traditionally have been able to take part. We also have over 100 nationalities represented within the student body. We have a lot of international students, and therefore any student who's studying at Newport benefits from an international experience. A Newport student may be in a class sitting next to someone from New Delhi or New York, and they benefit from that exchange of ideas. The Welsh Federal College's aim is to take all of the Welsh Medium provision at FE and at HE and centralise it in the first instance in a more virtual forum uh, and offer an opportunity for best practice to be shared from institution to institution, particularly to offer some kind of FE to HE pipeline, particularly within the regions of Wales, and more than anything to establish best practice within Welsh medium delivery across the entire Principality. And uh, the University's aims for the Welsh medium provision are really tied into what the colleague is asking them to, to adhere to and, and that's really to increase the number of students who are taking Welsh prim primarily through modular provision um, to uh, focus on a set of subjects that will be core to the delivery of Welsh medium provision. These are particularly within creative arts including music, performance, film, photography um, and also areas in education and also in STEM and in um, probation. One of the things that the Welsh Federal College is trying to do is to establish Welsh as a prominent international academic language. One of these aims and objectives is to work with each individual regional centre to try and find areas of distinction that that university or FE college could then best serve in its community. So as Andy quite rightly said, Newport has a strength in a community outreach, particularly within STEM subjects. Legal law, business law, for example, probation, stakeholding and safe holding. And I think really the, the most important thing is to recognise that this is a very much a growing area within Wales uh, and that the university places the development of Welsh medium provision right at the centre of the strategy and it is an important principle and one of the main themes of the current strategy to increase the provision, the visibility of Welsh medium education in the University of Wales Newport.